of penguins were enjoying themselves in the icy tundra. The penguins like to swim and play and generally do whatever it is most penguins do. There was one particular penguin, however, who was different than the rest, and he also was the littlest penguin. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Sir Icebinder here. Hi. How are you doing? And uh, I had a few friends request me to play in this game. Well, not friends, but fans. And uh, oh, you could say you know my fans are my friends. You know they kind of let me know what's going on and stuff. So they told me to play this game. Press arrow keys to move. Press up to jump. Uh. Uh. Oh. Okay. Look at you! Oh, you look so cute! Boy! Oh, oh, you're a swimmer. Can you go down? How far down can you go? Uh, okay, so I guess. Whee! Oh, you're yeah, good. You're good. You're a good jumper. Oh, well. Come on. Oh, whee! That was actually kind of fun. Okay, so the littlest penguin liked the other penguins well and fine enough, albeit in small doses. He was much more interested in going on adventures and he felt that today could possibly be his best adventure yet. Just then, he discovered a very old, very sick penguin lying next on a large stone. Won't you please help me? cried out the old penguin. I'm very sick and I'm very old. Please, won't you help fulfill an old penguin's request? The littlest penguin agreed and was horrified by what the old penguin said next. Bash my head in with this stone. End my pain, littlest penguin. The littlest penguin did as he was told. Why? Why is that a thing? Do I have to? No, I don't want to hurt you. That's so mean. I suppose we're not going to be able to go forward if I don't. Oh, please. Oh, man. Oh my Something god! Something began to stir inside the littlest penguin after that. Suddenly, a rush of emotions he had never known filled him, thrilled him like nothing had ever done before. This feels like heaven! cried out the littlest penguin, who set out freshly driven, given new direction to his adventure. If killing just one penguin felt that good, to himself. I wonder how it would be if I killed ten penguins. And off he went to test his theory. So you're a, uh, you're an evil penguin. Well, I'm playing an evil penguin. That, uh, that's disturbing. <laughs> the littlest penguin came upon a small group of his peers. This will do, he thought to himself, picking up a club that had been lying in the snow. Oh my god! That's so horrifying! That's so mean! How, how does this space bar to club? Oh. I can't believe I'm doing this. I really can't. The first one went down quickly, far easier than the littlest penguin would have thought. This spooked the others, but to his surprise, the littlest penguin found the more they ran, the greater his satisfaction when he finally beat them down. And beat them down he did, until the last of them were reduced to little more than a red stain in the snow. That's horrifying! As he moved through the crowd in order to reach the other side, the littlest penguin felt the eyes upon him. 
the other penguins began to grow weary of him, shifting their gaze as he walked by. I do not like the way they stare at me, thought the littlest penguin. I do not like it one bit. Perhaps, after I kill them all, I shall make a fine necklace of their eyes. This thought occupied the littlest penguin as the others wobbled nervously around him. And perhaps, a crown made from their beaks, so all can see and marvel at how beautiful I am. Turn to the other penguins and make good on his plans, the thought of which triggered an excitement that he could hardly contain. Okay, happy feet. <laughs> That's what you are, you're like dancing around with the big chainsaw. Having a hard time holding on to the chainsaw, I see. This is, uh. Why did you guys ask me to play this? Why? This is horrifying. A little penguin. Can you just image a killer penguin with a fucking chainsaw coming at me after you? Oh, uh, we're gonna have an animal discovery. We're gonna discuss. We're going to watch the penguins. Oh look, there's a penguin with a chainsaw. I wonder what he's going to do with it. You see that on Animal Planet? Oh my god. Faster, they fell brilliant streaks of crimson filled the air. Again, he would slash at them and again they would cry out. Some attempted to vainly cram their entrails back inside. Others simply fell apart where they stood. The litless penguin was thrilled. Oh, how he wished this moment could last forever. The screams, the panic, the rapture that pulsed inside of him. He could no sooner explain the magic behind his elation any more than he could bring himself to stop. Not until every last penguin had been split apart. And you guys want me to play this? This is demented! <laughs> of them had finally stopped twitching and he no longer felt the eyes upon him. The littlest penguin stopped. Breathing heavily, he surveyed the destruction he had wrought. They were all so beautiful now. Too beautiful, in fact. The ecstasy felt by the littlest penguin slowly faded and an undeniable sense of emptiness began to take its place. It's not fair, he thought. They are all so beautiful now. Why can't I be beautiful like them? Why must I be the only one? It isn't fair. It just isn't fair. The littlest penguin looked at the chainsaw. The blood dripped off the teeth of the blade, almost glistening in the moonlight. Suddenly, the littlest penguin knew how to feel beautiful like the rest. He knew then what it was he must do. That's bizarre. 
One day, a group of All right, if you guys liked this video, what the fuck did I just play? This is called the Lilith Penguin. You can try it out for yourselves down in the description below. If you guys like this commentary, uh, slap that like button, subscribe to my channel. That was just bizarre. That was... I don't know what words to describe this video. <laughs> and bizarre. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, God, that is... That's weird. Alright, happy feet! Happy feet! Yep. As, uh, happy feet goes crazy. Anyways, you guys take care! Goodbye!